Now at this point I have all rack 1, rack 2 and open filer servers up. Now I'm logging into the rack 1 server, opening a terminal window. We are going to check uh, the network settings and first thing we'll do is ping rack 1 which is the local server. Virtual IPs uh, are not going to work right now so you can see we are not getting any response for the rack 1 VIP. So we'll ping the rack 2 server everything looks okay. We'll also ping the rack 2 virtual IP will not get any response. We'll bring rack scan which also should not respond right now. We'll ping the open filer which is our SAN storage and it is responding well. Next thing we'll do is we'll set up SSH between um, rack 1 and rack 2. Here we are giving the SSH rack 2 with the password. We are able to log in. Checking the host name we are now logged into rack 2. We can exit from here and we'll log out as root user. Next thing what we'll do is we'll log in as grid user and we are setting up the terminal uh, quick icon. Now we are as you can see with the host name we are connected to rack 1 node as grid user. I'm connecting to rack 2 grid user. So this proves that uh, we are able to connect between rack 1 and rack 2 nodes with grid user also. Now we'll log out from grid user. We'll log in as oracle user. Now you can see uh, we are connected to rack 1 as oracle user. We'll SSH to rack 2 as oracle user and with the password we are able to connect to rack 2. can check with the host name and we are connected to rack 2. We'll exit and right now we tested the network connectivity everything looks good. We can proceed. Now we will log in as root user on rack 1 node and we will prepare a grid infrastructure and oracle rdbms softwares for installation. I have already downloaded these zip files uh, from technet.oracle.com and placed them in our hgfs drive. So if you look at our mount hgfs shared folder uh, we can see there is a grid software and one file and two files for the database software. I will start unzipping the grid software in our software downloads folder. Under our software downloads now we have a folder called grid which has the grid infrastructure software un uh, unzipped ready to install. Now we will unzip the database software also. Database comes in two zip files. Uh, we'll unzip the first one. Now we'll issue a command to unzip the second file of database. Now 
Now we can see under our software downloads folder, we have two folders called database and grid. We will set up proper privileges for these two folders. Uh, grid software will be installed by grid user and database will be installed uh, by Oracle user. So we are providing proper uh, privileges for these folders. We'll also set up the read-write privileges for user and group. Now our softwares are ready for installation. We can log out from here.